What's up, NHCO boy? Dylan Sangley. And welcome back to Dylan Sangley TV. So today, we're about to determine real versus fake from Jordan 1 Royal Toes. It is 2020, guys. You guys got to stop getting scammed by all these fake sneakers. So this is going to be the first legit check video on my YouTube channel. So I don't want to waste anyone's time here. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So just a little disclaimer before we get into the video, I do not promote fakes, I do not sell fakes, and I do not mess with fakes. If you wear fakes, if you buy fakes, there's no disrespect to you guys, but um, I recently just got some Royal Toes in and it was a GUA deal, so they did end up being fake, so now I'm going to do a real versus fake video of the Royal Toes. The pair on the right is always going to be the fake pair and the pair on the left is going to be the real pair. So this pair right here is going to be a used 10 and a half Royal Toe. Obviously, it's going to be a replica. And on the left is going to be a DS pair, size 10 and a half as well. So just talking about the box itself, I know people want to just get into the sneakers. But on the 10 and a half real pair, there are going to be like the little squiggly lines behind the size tag on the box. On the fake pair, it doesn't have that. So that is one telltale sign you guys have to look at when legit checking your pairs. Another thing that I saw that was off on the real versus the fake pair, on the real pair, there was a little bit of spacing right here. And on the fake pair, there was no spacing at all. So before using the Check Check app to legit check this pair, this pair just threw me off. Reason one was because of the size tag, and then when I opened the shoe, it smelled like glue. So here's a Check Check screenshot determining that the pair on the right was fake. First and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and take out the left shoe on both sides, and we're going to compare the right side of the sneaker. So obviously, we have to check if the R&D touch and on the real pair, it does. On the fake pair, it does as well. These were scary fakes, man. Like, if you were newer to the sneaker game and you didn't have any other pairs to compare, these right here would have fooled you. So in the back, it has the hourglass shape, which it should have. This does as well. But now, we compare both of the tongues. This is the real tongue. And here is the fake tongue. Obviously on the fake tongue, it looks super off. On the fake pair, there was way too much paint. On here, it was super, super clean. Another thing that I saw different comparing the two, this is the DS pair. You could obviously see the two lines of the stitches. While on the fake pair, it looks super close and it looks like there's only one stitch. On the real pair, it looks more tumbled. Compared to the fake pair, it looks less tumbled. And if we take out the shoe trees on both, you should be able to press on the toe and it should come back every single time. On the fake pair, it does that as well. If we look inside the fake sneaker, you could see that the blue part of the insole shows way more than it does with the real pair inside right now i'm going to take out both insoles and i'm going to compare those as well so comparing the two stickers obviously this one's used this one is brand new the font on the fake pair looks way bigger than it does on the real pair the real pair looks cleaner and on the fake pair it looks too thin and this one looks a little bit more bold now i'm going to compare the size tag inside the fake sneaker comparing to the real sneaker on the fake the jump man looks super off the five on the ten and a half is crooked this eight right here is touching this line and everything looks super close together and it's not as clean as if it was to be on the real pair so now getting to the real pair the five is not crooked the jump man looks more clean the eight on the real pair is not touching this line right here and it looks way more clean compared to the fake pair. Just real quick, on the fake shoe tree, it looks less defined than it does on the real shoe tree. So make sure you guys look out for this as well. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna do the black light test. This is what the real pair looks like under the black light. As you guys can see, there is no 
factory stamps. No little tracings around the swoosh or anything around the sneaker. Here's the other side. This is what you guys should see under the black light. There is absolutely nothing. So now on the fake pair, everything looks good as well. There's no factory stamps or tracings and everything looks good with the fake pair under the black light. You guys should also black light all around the boxes to see if there's any factory stamps. Sometimes on the fake pairs, there's going to be a little factory stamp that you guys could see. I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture right here of what that looks like. So if you guys see that, it's an automatic fake. Do not buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, share the video. Till next time, we'll see y'all soon. We'll love y'all so much. You know what you remember? Don't sleep. You got to